Hey, this is Amelia from Digital Byte Computing. Today we're going to go through how to install the iOS 14 public beta. And as you can see right here, I've got it installed. We're going to cover that today. Please remember as always to subscribe and click on the notification bell to be kept up to date with my videos. All right, so we're assuming that you've got an iPhone, you're running an early version of iOS, iOS 13, or even an iOS 13 beta. Uh, we're gonna look at the public beta that has just been released. You'll see that it's got these cool little notifications, you've got icons, you've got all these widgets that you can add right to the home screen, and we're gonna go through how to actually install this. Now, generally, you won't be able to just install as normal. You have to go and enroll your device with Apple. Now, what we do is we're on our iPhone itself, we're gonna go into Safari, and navigate to beta.apple.com. This is the software program uh, for Apple, essentially the beta software program. And within here, you can get all of your betas for all of your different iOS, for iPad, for Mac OS, Big Sur, and other things as well. What we wanna do is in here, we wanna select get started. And now we want to log in with our Apple ID. Once you've signed in, make sure that iOS is selected because we're gonna be getting iOS 14. And what we need to do is we now need to enroll your iOS device, essentially letting Apple know that you are going to be using iOS, your phone, for beta testing. Okay, so select enroll your device under get started. It's always good and important to archive your phone to essentially make a backup of your phone just in case something goes wrong. Because this is a beta, there are still potential bugs in there. If that is all done and you're happy with that, what you need to do is now install a profile. This is the beta.apple.com profile. So we're gonna select download profile. This is gonna download a profile onto your phone that will enable your iPhone to be able to install that beta. Are you okay to download this uh, configuration profile? We're gonna say allow. Profile downloaded, review this profile in your settings app. We get out of our phone, we're gonna go into settings on our phone, and within the settings area, you wanna go into general, scroll down to where it says profiles. You'll have iOS 14 and iPad OS 14 beta uh, profile in there. Select the one that you've just downloaded, and we're gonna select install. Input your code for your phone. Do you consent Apple to do a whole bunch of stuff? If you do, you can select install and install. Now your phone will require a restart. Once your phone is restarted, go back into your settings area and into general and software update. And what you'll see is within software update, iOS 14 public beta will be available for you to download. And we will check back once that is done. And then once your phone is restarted, you're now presented back with your home screen and you'll find that you've got a number of different options, including a whole bunch of cool widgets that you can easily move around. So I can easily just grab a widget right here and move it around, which is actually quite cool. And that's a brief look at one of the new features in iOS 14 amongst many. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, comment, like, and subscribe to Digital Byte Computing for a whole bunch of more videos. Thanks for watching.